Hello and welcome to this fascinating journey into the new realm of Apple's log format. But what exactly is this mysterious Apple log? I did some digging on Apple's website, but came up empty handed. The most intriguing information I found was on a Japanese site that, through a complex computer script, deciphered the technical details of this log. It turns out the curve is quite similar to S-Log3 and the color space is Rec 2020. Now you might think all these technical specs are overwhelming, but here's the thing. They're not really crucial for your workflow. If you've set up DaVinci Resolve correctly with managed colors, just drag your iPhone shot clip into DaVinci Resolve and it will automatically recognize it as Apple Log Color Space. Incredible, right? But what if you want to work with the original log format? No problem at all, just change the input color space. From there, you can start shaping the colors right from the original log format. Let's dive into some color grading. Going back to our original clip in Apple Log, we'll look for the color space transform effect and apply it to our node. We'll adjust the output and gamma parameters to achieve a Cineon film log. Next, let's click on LUTs and film looks. Let's see, a few Rec. 709 profiles might do the trick. This one looks perfect, but we can make it even better by tweaking the image's exposure a bit. Let's add a node before and adjust the intensity of the highlights and shadows. Simply magnificent. Now let's create a mask to bring more focus to our subject. And there we go. Fantastic. Next, let's explore how we can achieve cinematic color grading with Dehancer. Dehancer offers a very cinematic dynamic range with its film compression control. After adjusting the exposure and contrast, we can balance the colors to our liking. Magnificent. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks and goodbye.